In a groundbreaking leap for aviation technology, Chinese scientists have successfully tested the world's first oblique detonation engine, ODE, powered by standard aviation kerosene, marking a potential revolution in hypersonic propulsion. This cutting-edge engine, capable of reaching speeds up to Mach 16, over 12,000 miles per hour, could transform air travel by drastically reducing global flight times. Imagine traveling from New York to London in just 90 minutes or completing a trans-Pacific journey from Shanghai to Los Angeles in under 30 minutes. Beyond commercial aviation, the implications of this development are vast. The ODE's ability to sustain hypersonic speeds opens the door to ultra-fast military aircraft, reusable space planes that seamlessly transition between atmospheric and orbital flight, and even same-day international logistics. By leveraging shockwaves and advanced materials, this innovation not only redefines the limits of speed but also offers a practical solution for sustainable high-speed travel using widely available jet fuel. If fully realized, this technology could usher in a new era of global connectivity, reshaping industries, economies, and the way humanity interacts across vast distances. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. The new ODE developed by Chinese scientists represents a paradigm shift in propulsion technology, blending advanced physics, innovative design, and cutting-edge materials to achieve hypersonic speeds. Here's a detailed explanation of the science behind this revolutionary engine. 1. Core Principle Oblique Detonation Waves At the heart of the ODE is the concept of oblique detonation waves, which differ fundamentally from traditional combustion processes. Conventional engines like turbofans and scramjets rely on gradual, controlled burning of fuel. In contrast, the ODE uses detonation combustion, where fuel-air mixtures are ignited explosively, creating shock waves that propagate at supersonic speeds. Detonation Diamonds the engine generates self-sustaining detonation diamonds, ultra-fast shock waves that compress and ignite the fuel-air mixture almost instantaneously. These shock waves create a chain reaction, forming a stable, repeating explosion front that sustains thrust. Shock wave compression. Unlike scramjets, which require bulky combustion chambers to slow down airflow for combustion, the ODE uses shock waves themselves to compress and ignite the fuel-air mixture. This eliminates the need for deceleration, enabling efficient operation at hypersonic speeds, Mach 6 to 16. 2. Engine Design Innovations The ODE's design is optimized for extreme conditions, combining simplicity with precision engineering to achieve its remarkable performance. 5 mm Bump A key innovation is the introduction of a small, strategically placed bump on the combustor wall. This bump creates localized hotspots that trigger the initial detonation. Once initiated, the shock wave propagates along the combustor, sustaining continuous detonation without external intervention. Compact Combustor The combustor in the ODE is 85% shorter than those in scramjet engines, reducing weight and improving aerodynamic efficiency. This compact design also minimizes drag, allowing the engine to maintain stability at hypersonic velocities. Wing-shaped struts. To enhance fuel dispersion and mixing with air, the engine incorporates wing-shaped struts inside the combustor. These structures accelerate the distribution of RP3 kerosene, ensuring rapid and uniform combustion. 3. Materials for extreme conditions. Operating at hypersonic speeds imposes extreme thermal and mechanical stresses on the engine. To withstand these conditions, the ODE employs advanced materials and cooling techniques. Heat-resistant alloys. The engine's components are constructed from high-temperature alloys, such as nickel-based superalloys and ceramic matrix composites, capable of enduring temperatures exceeding 3,500 degrees Celsius Kelvin. These materials resist thermal degradation and maintain structural integrity under intense heat and pressure. Thermal management. Innovative cooling systems, including regenerative cooling and ablative coatings, prevent overheating by dissipating heat away from critical areas. Some sections of the engine may also use active cooling, where fuel circulates through channels to absorb excess heat before combustion. 4. Fuel Efficiency and Use of RP3 Kerosene 
One of the most significant advancements of the ODE is its ability to use standard aviation kerosene RP3, a logistical advantage over hydrogen or ethylene fuels traditionally used in hypersonic engines. Pre-compression ignition RP3 has a longer ignition delay compared to hydrogen, making it challenging to ignite at high speeds. To overcome this, the CAS team pre-compresses the fuel-air mixture to temperatures around 3,800 Kelvin 3,527 degrees Celsius, before ignition. This ensures rapid and complete combustion, even at Mach 9 and beyond. Energy density. RP3 offers higher energy density than hydrogen or ethylene, providing more power per unit volume. This enhances the engine's efficiency and range, making it suitable for both commercial and military applications. 5. Achieving hypersonic speeds. The ODE achieves its extraordinary speeds through a combination of factors. Self-reinforcing shock waves. The detonation process generates immense pressure spikes, up to 20 times ambient levels, at Mach 9. These shock waves compress incoming air and fuel, creating a self-sustaining cycle of explosive combustion that propels the aircraft forward. Efficient airflow management. By avoiding the need to slow down airflow, as required in scramjets, the ODE maintains high-speed airflow through the engine. This allows it to operate efficiently in the hypersonic regime, where traditional engines falter due to flame-out or insufficient compression. Reduced drag and weight. The compact design and lightweight materials minimize aerodynamic drag, enabling the engine to reach and sustain speeds up to Mach 16. 6. Implications for high-speed flight. The ODE's ability to sustain hypersonic speeds opens the door to transformative applications. Commercial Aviation At Mach 16, the engine could reduce global flight times dramatically, enabling travel from New York to London in 90 minutes or Shanghai to Los Angeles in 30 minutes. Space Exploration The ODE could power reusable space planes capable of transitioning seamlessly between atmospheric and orbital flight, bridging the gap between aviation and space travel. Military applications. Hypersonic missiles, drones, and bombers powered by the ODE would achieve unprecedented speed and range, offering strategic advantages in defense and reconnaissance. The moment the ODE was successfully tested marked a historic milestone in aerospace engineering, leaving scientists and observers awestruck at the dawn of a new era in propulsion technology. It happened in Beijing's JF-12 shock tunnel, one of the most advanced hypersonic testing facilities in the world, where researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences CAS, gathered to witness the culmination of years of groundbreaking research. As the countdown concluded and the engine roared to life, metaphorically speaking, as the test occurred in a controlled vacuum environment, the team watched intently as data streamed in from sensors monitoring pressure, temperature, and thrust. In just milliseconds, the ODE achieved sustained oblique detonation waves, generating shock waves that compressed and ignited the fuel-air mixture with explosive precision. The engine operated at Mach 9 for a brief but critical 50 milliseconds, equivalent to traveling approximately 150 meters 492 feet, at hypersonic speed. Yet within that fleeting span, the engine demonstrated stable combustion and self-sustaining detonation producing pressure spikes 20 times greater than ambient levels. When the test concluded, the room erupted in cheers. For many on the team, this was more than a scientific achievement, it was the realization of a dream decades in the making. Lead researcher Han Xin described the moment as a perfect storm of physics and engineering, where theory finally met practice. We've unlocked a new way to harness energy, he said, his voice tinged with awe. This isn't just about faster flight, it's about reimagining what's possible. The excitement quickly rippled through the global scientific community. Aerospace engineers and physicists around the world marveled at the implications of using standard aviation kerosene RP3, to achieve such extraordinary speeds. Dr. Elena Martinez, an aerospace propulsion expert at MIT, called the breakthrough a game-changer for hypersonic research. She added, What's remarkable is how they've solved the ignition delay issue with RP3 and created a compact design that could actually be practical for real-world applications. Social media buzzed with reactions from experts and enthusiasts alike. 
Hashtags like hypersonic breakthrough and future of flight trended as videos and diagrams from the CAS team circulated online. Some hailed the ODE as the jet engine of the future, while others speculated about its potential to revolutionize everything from commercial air travel to space exploration. Even skeptics acknowledged the significance of the achievement, though debates about scalability and operational challenges continued. For the CAS team, the success was both exhilarating and humbling. As they reviewed the data, they knew this was only the beginning. This test proves the concept works, said one researcher, but there's still so much to learn. Every step forward feels like stepping into uncharted territory. The successful test not only validated years of painstaking research but also reignited global interest in hypersonic technology. It served as a powerful reminder of humanity's relentless drive to push boundaries, and a tantalizing glimpse of the ultra-fast, interconnected world that may soon lie ahead. In military contexts, the ODE could pave the way for a new generation of hypersonic missiles, drones, or bombers with extended range and reduced operational costs, providing China's PLA with a strategic advantage in future conflicts. However, challenges remain. Researchers must further investigate the byproducts of RP3 combustion and refined bump configurations to optimize engine efficiency for real-world flight conditions. As geopolitical tensions rise, hypersonic technology has become a focal point in the global power struggle. In a January 23 interview with Fox News, U.S. President Donald Trump claimed that Russia had stolen the design of U.S. hypersonic missile technology. He also asserted that the U.S. was developing its own hypersonic missiles with performance one step better. We will have them starting fairly shortly, he added. The race for hypersonic supremacy underscores the transformative potential of innovations like the ODE, which could reshape not only aviation and space exploration but also the dynamics of international security. If you like the content in this episode, Please also check out other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's technology advancements and developments. That's all we have for now, and thank you for tuning in.